What's up, everybody? How's it going? I, uh... I'm going to vlog a little bit today about how vlogging has kind of moved along a little bit in its technology and its popularity. You know, it, uh... I'm sorry if I'm moving slow this morning. I, uh, have not yet had my coffee. I'm on my way to get coffee right now and do a little, do a little work. But, uh, but yeah, I, you know, motor vlogging, I don't know, like it's, it's come along so far in just a few years. I remember you know, I, I started watching some different moto vlogs and stuff, uh, I guess about five years ago or so, uh, you know, watching, um, I guess Bilma, Bilma and, uh, Boosasaurus Rex, which is, uh, Billy and Tracy, watching their vlog, moto vlogs of, uh, which, watching their motor vlogs their trips which you know their motor vlogs were a little bit different I mean of course he wasn't uh, or at least at the time he wasn't you know riding around talking like uh, like motor vlogging is today um, which I, I guess that's kind of an evolution of things with technology increases and stuff and and uh, and actually even you know uh, well I'll get to that later but it was kind of a thing where it was new you could you could like oh well I'm gonna I'm gonna go take these vlogs and everything and um, talk about you know what's going on on my trip and everything and instead of like writing about it I mean there have been trip pages out you know just forever and ever and ever on you know oh I'm gonna take a motorcycle trip I'm gonna update my blog you know blah 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 well I mean you know later on everything people with YouTube and everything have uh, really been able to you know put their videos out there and um, you know take a video from the road they'd be able to like stop you know take a quick video here or there or whatever um, and be able to you know go and just like snap something real quick because whereas like you know a blog you have to sit there, sit down, type it out, you know, add your pictures in, you know, it was really like a kind of a tedious process of, you know, updating a page or, um, you know, going to a website and, and having to sit there and type it out and having to think back to all different things that happened during the day. Um, but, you know, vlogging has really kind of like revolutionized how uh, you get to share your trips and share your ideas Which is I mean, it's just so freaking cool that we live in a time where we can do that, you know, and and things have progressed so far now um, To the point where you know, we have these technologies like what I'm using right now um, Using my camera with a microphone and getting to ride on around on my motorcycle I should have turned back at that road. Look at me. Uh, me getting to ride around on my motorcycle and talk to you guys while, you know, um, while before, good lord, off-roading, um, you know, me getting to talk, talk on my, while I'm riding my motorcycle, you know, I mean, that's just such a freaking cool technology. I mean, you know, it, and this didn't exist, you know, 10 years ago. Um, it's all new, all new for you guys. So, really, and it, you know, what's really cool also is that there are, it, motovlogging has taken off, and especially motovlogging in the format that, uh, like, for instance, that I'm doing today. Uh, the, the writing around, sharing the thoughts, sharing the ideas, um, you know, it's really taken off with certain big personalities like, uh, like Chase and, uh, Modernosity and, um, 
you know, oh my god, how could I forget, like, Jake the Garden Snake, and, um, Lead Pin, uh, Royal Jordanian, all these guys that, you know, have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people following them, uh, and then subscribe to their, to their videos, whenever they upload a video, I mean, boom, you know, a couple thousand views in, like, a matter of minutes, uh, you know, that's incredible, it's absolutely incredible, that, uh, you know, that, that mode vlogging is reaching that many people, and part of it is due to, due to the technology, the increase in technology, um, that's made it easy to do it, you know, made it easy to upload videos, made it easy to, um, you know, record while on your, while on your motorcycle, and, uh, it's taken off so much that, I mean, some of these guys are, you know, that's their job. Uh, they've, they've been able to quit their jobs, and they just make money from, uh, from motovlogging, which, I mean, how cool is that? You know, like, they, they get to, uh, you know, do what they enjoy, and they make money. I mean, you can't really ask for much more than that. Uh... Well, you could always ask for more money, I guess. <laughs> but, but I mean, really, they, uh, they're in a really cool spot to be able to do that sort of thing. And look at me, I missed my turn again. Oh, well, we're just going to take the long way. But, uh, which, I mean, that's the way you should always take if you're on a motorcycle. Take the long way. The long way around. Um... Yeah, I just stole that from you and McGregor. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it's just really cool that uh, that they get to do that, and that YouTube is able to, you know, put them out there. And I mean, YouTube's making money also. I mean, you're talking about videos that are being able to view, be able to be viewed, and um, you know, these content creators that are bringing people in and bringing people as part of the community. And not only that, you got the folks that, you know, some of these guys are getting like, you know, Chase and everything. I mean, he's my fellow, my fellow Atlanta motor vlogger. And there's a couple other ones out there, uh, you know, Sticker Bombed and everything is one of them. Um, my fellow Atlanta motor vlogger, Atlanta area motor vlogger. Uh, you know, they, uh, they get to, they, they create this content and they create a community by getting us all to be able to interact with each other uh, in, a, in a forum where we wouldn't have been able to otherwise. I mean, they, they brought people together. And that's really cool that, you know, that just strengthen, strengthens the motorcycle community. It also, you know, there are a lot of guys out there that, a lot of guys and gals out there that watch these videos, you know, that don't have a motorcycle, but just have, you know, an interest in motorcycling. And, uh... You know, they have an interest in possibly being a part of the community. But, you know, they, they might not just have a motorcycle. But that gives them, it gives them kind of a view into what the community is. And uh, kind of gives them a view on what, um, what we do and what we're about. Um, I am, what? How did I get to Ponce? Oh my goodness, I don't even know how I got here. Uh, but yeah, so we, um, you know, we kind of take some of that for granted, I guess, a little bit, that, that this is kind of a, um, a bit of a promotional tool for, you know, getting people to, you know, maybe they, maybe they weren't into motorcycling at all, and they just stumble upon this video that got, that has, you know, hundred thousand hits and they just stumble upon it and be like oh well man that's kind of cool that looks like it'd be fun to just ride around and and check things out and gives you a unique perspective that they never considered before um and uh you know that that brings people into motorcycling which you know the more motorcycle quite frankly the more motorcycles on the road the better off we'll all be um, but yeah, I, I think, I think it's really good. Motovlogging in, in a, as a whole, 
it was good for the motorcycle community. And, you know, what's really neat about it is that it's taken off so much that, uh, that actually these companies have really started to take notice, um, you know, and have even in the past sponsored people, like for instance, uh, Chase on two wheels, he, uh, you know, he had a, a deal with Drift there for a while where he would, you know, promote the Drift product, which he used, and actually, and now so I use, um, and he would promote them and be like, hey, you know, this is a great product, you know, you can get out and do da 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 and so they've really started to make these things, you know, uh, make some technologies and some of these products geared towards us motorcyclists. Um, one of the one of the things I'm thinking of, uh, you know, immediately that's come out recently is the uh, the Senna all-in-one Bluetooth, which you know they made Bluetooth microphones, Bluetooth headphones, I believe, and um, you know communications devices. And now they make an all-in-one camera and Bluetooth, which I mean, like, how cool is that? You know, they're just like, hey, this is. I mean, that just screams motovlogger. I mean, that just is motovlogging. I mean, that, uh, you know, you can be like, I mean, here, have this camera. Instead of having these two different things that you have to buy or that you have to uh, maintain or get, you know, and you have to worry about, oh, well, is this compatible with da 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 or, you know, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just one unit, sticks right on the side of your helmet, um... You know, and, and uh, it just it just makes it easy. An all-in-one package that you can buy. And, I mean, that's really freaking cool. You know, they uh, you didn't have that, I mean, even a year or two ago. Uh, and, I mean, you know, everybody plays with their setups, and, and there are different reviews about it and whether or not it's good or not. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't have one. Uh, I haven't used one. I, you know, I haven't, I haven't even used Bluetooth. Uh... I haven't even used any of the Bluetooth microphones or anything like that because, you know, I don't, uh, I'm kind of poor and don't have a camera, uh, that has Bluetooth or anything, but, um, maybe soon, maybe soon, but anyway, it, you know, it's just pretty neat how it's all come along, I mean, you know, started watching videos, you know, many years ago, well, I say many years ago, but it's actually not that long ago, um, is this where I'm supposed to be? I don't know. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, you know, watching those videos many years ago and uh, kind of gaining an interest in it. And I know I'm late to the game, but, you know, a lot of people uh, will... Um, Pay to park. Ugh. That's why I ride a motorcycle, so I don't have to pay to park. That sucks. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they, a lot of people, you know, I've, I've watched these videos, and I've seen them kind of, like, grow in their professionalism, and, uh, kind of change the way that they do things, and... Uh, kind of evolve, as it were, uh, into, you know, these super pro moto vloggers that, you know, that are uploading content all the time, that are doing things like, uh, um, some of the big moto vloggers have gotten together recently and, and created an actual forum for all of us to, to hang out and do things, um, you know, to hang out and meet, well, it might help if I put in a neutral, huh? Um, but yeah, it's just really cool. It's just really cool stuff. Well, anyway, I am here where I'm going to go get coffee. Now, the question is, do I go to the good coffee shop or do I go to Starbucks? Hmm, questions, questions. You'll never know the answer. Anyway, holler, people. <laughs>